Hi guys, Mr. Fleming here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do our last three words today um, for our vocabulary routine. So our first word is going to be transform. Go ahead and say the word transform. Turn and share with someone next to you. What do you think the word transform means? So transform means that you are going to change something into something else. You transform it. Transform means to change something into something else. Transform means to change something into something else. Repeat. Good. Teach it. Transform means to change something into some, something else. Transform means to change something to something else. So let's think of emotion for the word transform. Hmm. So let's act. This is for you, Saw. So Saw is a Harry Potter fan. So let's pretend that we are actually a wizard or uh, somebody that plays a part in Harry Potter. And you have your wand. Get your wand out. Let me see your wand. And I want you to act as though as you're changing someone into a frog. Go. And you can say some fancy words like hocus pocus. And then your partner will change into a frog at that point. Okay. Let me see your motion again. Oh, I love that, Ryan. Good job there. I like that. Let's go ahead and do the next word here. So our next word is going to be humble. Say the word humble. Good job. So what do you think the word humble means? Hmm. Well, if you look closer here, we have a house here, a little tiny house. But back in the background here, it's like a big castle. You see that? So humble is this, the little tiny house. And what that means is it's not really impressive. It's not impressive. Or it's simple. Okay? So the word humble means not impressive or simple. Humble means not impressive or simple. Repeat. Good. Teach it. Humble means not impressive or simple. Humble means not impressive or simple. So let's go ahead and do this. You guys know this little joke that I've said before. So go up to your partner or someone next to you and you say, look at those muscles. And they are not impressed because they are, you are a weenie. Mm -mm, you are weak. Okay, no muscles there. So not impressed by your partner's muscles. You're not impressed by them. Let's move on to our last word today. So our last word is urban. We talked about this word yesterday. As you can see, you see the city, right? Urban means a city, okay? Urban means a city, all right? Uh, so let's go ahead and repeat that. Urban means a city. Repeat. Good. Teach it. Urban means a city. Urban means a city. So for a motion for urban, since it's a city, and I know what's in city, right? A city's a concrete jungle, right? That's what we learned yesterday. So let's go ahead and act like we are a building. Go ahead and be your building right now. I'm a building. I'm going to stand still. I'm a building, okay? Some of you might be little short buildings, okay? Tall and short. Okay, so that's what we're going to do for urban. We're going to be a building in a city. So let's go ahead and review, review our motions today. So our first one was transform. Go ahead and get your wand out and agracadabra. Change somebody into a frog. Now don't hop around over there, okay, Reed? I saw you. Our next one is simple. Go ahead. Your partner is not impressed by those muscles. I'm not impressed either. Nope, I'm not. And then our last one today is urban, which means city. Go ahead and be that city. All right, guys. 
That's our vocab routine. It is now time to go into book clubs. I hope you have a great day. Bye.